So if you think about what social identity, so social media platforms and other internet giants have become, they've really turned into identity brokers. They establish identity for individuals online almost as a second order consequence, first offering paid and free services to attract a network of users and then offering identity as a result. Indeed, our, our data shows that Famgo is placing bets on identity with Google here labeled as Alphabet and Microsoft investing heavily in identity tech startups. And as an aside, although Amazon hasn't made any direct investments in identity technology, they're very active in patents in their own internal projects like Macy, which uses machine learning to, pr to protect PII, or personally identifiable information. With all this, it almost looks like we're headed for a single online identification credential, as seen with federated identity. That includes things like social sign-on, where companies like Facebook, Google, and Twitter can be used to log into many different sites online. A number of startups are, are, are also working toward this goal of federated, federated identity, like Auth0. The problem is that these internet giants perhaps hold too much information. Here's a quote from Stephen Johnson, who wrote a great piece in the New York Times called Beyond the Bitcoin Bubble. Facebook owns the personal data and digital identities of 2 billion people worldwide. And Mark Zuckerberg holds the majority of voting power in that corporation. With recent news out of the UK regarding Cambridge Analytica, it's clear why this is a, why this is a problem. Cambridge Analytica is a political consultancy that, that allegedly used available Facebook data to change the course of the US election. But what if Facebook didn't have all that data in the first place? So in that vein, we're starting to see governments get involved with the EU mandating the GDPR, or General Data Protection Regulation, for its citizens. GDPR will protect identifying information about citizens, among other data, and offer citizens the right to be forgotten, meaning that they could tell Google or Facebook to effectively scrub them from the internet.